I'm here to buy Lego. Gaties and Lentil Gen, welcome back to Bravo Bricks. Today, my family and I are shopping at the Lakeland Antique Mall in Lakeland, Florida. My goal, find used and retired Lego sets to claim as my own for reasonable prices. The group's goal, find the creepiest or strangest thing in the store. The rules are simple. Everyone gets to pick one item that they deem to be the creepiest. The winner gets bragging rights. And that's it, because we're all poor. You know what's not expensive? Taking a picture with the large horse statue outside the store. What a lovely picture this is, oh my God. With us today is my pregnant sister-in-law. She's currently baking Bubba Jimmy Jr. Named after her grandpa, Bubba Jimmy Sr., who is named after his grandpa, Steven, who is nicknamed Bubba. There's also my wife. She's looking for furniture for our new house. What she doesn't know is that I already spent all of our savings on Lego Dungeons and Dragons figures. Next is my twin brother. We've been hanging and banging, brother. Last but not least is my mom visiting from Ohio. Yes, my mom is single. She is totally open to you being my new stepdad if you agree to buy me a Lego set, both at Christmas and my birthday and each month in between. Her words, not mine. If you want to be my new stepdad, just drop a comment with the words, I'll buy you whatever you want. And I'm proud of you, son. If you could please do that, that would be just magical. The Lakeland Antique Mall is filled with old Disney World, Universal Studios, and other theme park props and merchandise. There's lots of old signs, furniture, and just stuff in general. At first, we didn't find any Lego, just strange and odd stuff. Oh dear. With antique malls like this, often the goodies are buried in the booths. Right in the front of the store are some ride vehicles from Disney, including an old Space Mountain rocket car. After shopping around for quite a while, on the verge of giving up, I saw it. There. Amongst the rubble of a bunch of crap. Lego. Here's a Friends Grand Hotel for a hundred dollars. Some big ears. This is 40 retail. Let's see how much? 35? Okay. A steal. There's also some up here. But they are more than retail. Just pieces, no figures. Figures over here. Yeah. This one's 39. This is old. That's 100. That's I don't know if that's good or not. Some more clear boxes over here, pieces. They don't just have Lego here, they've also got Mold King. $60 for a used box of Mold King and only 410 pieces. I'd be willing to bet that that sells for less brand new. There's bags of random pieces for like $8. So if you were into that kind of thing, then come on over. But nothing significant here. Although we do have a knockoff figure of some sort of basketball player. That face is enough to haunt your dreams. One neat thing I did find was this Cinderella castle. The original, not the re-release for the 50th anniversary. And this one in particular was on display at Disney World. So if you want to have bragging rights that you have the Lego Cinderella Castle that was at Disney World, go for it. It can be yours for $600. For that much money, you can buy 40 Nicolas Cage pillow covers, sequin pillowcases, funny gag gifts, white elephant gifts, reversible sequin pillow cover, decorative throw cushion case, 16 by 16 inches. I know which one I'd go with. That's high praise. Prices were meh as well, so we just continued. Some old Lego. It's been opened and resealed. Sixty-five dollars. Very old. People did start to find some creepy stuff. Plus, I'm looking for complete sets, not just random pieces. Kind of looks like a dog that's wiping its butt on the carpet. Yeah, it does. He's itching. Look at that face. He got that spot. I wonder how much radiation that glass has. Well, I don't know, but there's four of them. All right, Mom, what'd you find? I found an armless mannequin. He's nasty. This is your vote? Yes, my vote. Are you sure? I mean, you are single. Mm, is this your man? No arms. I mean, he couldn't fight you. No arms. <laughs> <laughs> but he has shiny lips. Ooh, is that what you're looking for? No. Supple, shiny lips? This is my submission for the weirdest item. I think it looks like my little sister, Maria Summer. Read the sign. Sorry, this vintage baby mannequin is not for sale, but if you insist, the price is $3.99. <laughs> I don't insist. All right, this is Kayla's submission for creepiest thing here. Harvey Firestein's smoke, spook house? It's supposed to be a joke, like Harvey. 
Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Oh. Uh, As other people found their choice for creepiest items, I found the winner. A truly awful piece of thing that is enough to make your mama's toe hair stand on edge. This awful and definitely racist doll of some kind. Everyone unanimously agreed that I won the challenge and that it should never see the light again. What did I truly win? White guilt and nightmares. As far as Lego goes, this place was kind of a bust, but we did have a great time nonetheless. Every once in a while, we ran into a few sets here and there, but most of them were either sets that are still on the market or just taken off the market. Again, the prices weren't anything crazy good. Otherwise, I would have gotten something, but not for me. Two, $200 for that. No figs. 30 for that's not bad. Now we're talking. You can have this for the low price of 150 smackaroons. Do you guys remember Zoo Pals? This is like the adult version of Zoo Pals. I like the raccoon one. So if anybody's watching this and they need a Christmas gift idea, get me the raccoon adult Zoo Pal plates. How much is that bag? This is $832. $832? Yeah. That's a steal. Why are you putting steal. it back in the shelf, Grant? Put it back. Put your purse. Put your purse. In total, we spent three hours, 15 minutes perusing this massive antique mall. Some items were tempting, others not so much. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you sticking around to the end. Thanks to all the Block Party members for the extra support here on the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.